So I'm back in the studio today with Lee Scott from Starag UK. Uh, this technical corner is about a new machine that they have just launched. It's the H95 Compact. Um, Lee, welcome to the studio. Really looking Thank forward you. to learning more about this machine, which I did see at Emo. But for those that didn't, tell us about this model and why you've introduced it and what it is. Okay, so as you said, it was launched at Emo, so it's a brand new uh, option. It's the largest in a family of machines that have been recently introduced called the H range. So H for horizontal, we also have an X, which is a five axis variant, and we have a T, which is a high speed turning variant, but the horizontal machining centers multitasking. And it's a big machine of which we'll talk about shortly. I say big in working envelope, which we'll come to. Um, but what do people need to look for or what should they be looking for when, they, when it comes to a horizontal four axis machine like this H95? And what do you offer that can uh, solve their problems? Well, this, this is all about, as everything is with us, about lowest cost per component manufacturing. So it's all about high performance, very heavy machining, machining difficult features uh, without any compromise, accurate, repeatable cutting, really. Okay, now the size of it, I mentioned it is compact in its footprint because that's the very... Uh, nature of this range but the working envelope something isn't it I mean I saw at Emo a huge drum on the uh, on the on the second pallet what can it take what's its capacity well on, on this machine we can take two and a half tons on the table and it's 1.75 diameter swing by 1.6 high so it's either fairly large components as a single component on the table or it's a tombstone with multiple components different features, different operations done. So each time your pallet change, you, you, you're taking off multiple finished components. I mean, what sort of part or an application would you be putting on something like this? And I noticed from the start of this slideshow, you know, we're talking about the energy industry, nuclear and, and things like that, pretty industrial parts. It can be for anything, but the, the main sectors for us are transport and industrial markets, but also aerospace and energy markets as well. Um, it's got capabilities on, uh, on the spindle range up to 30,000 revs for, for soft materials like aluminium and it's also got some very heavy duty stiff spindles for cutting uh, more difficult materials. And we'll, we'll come on to the spindles in a minute because there's a couple of unique features which I really uh, enjoyed seeing in sure. fact at Emo. Sure. Um, for, for companies that might think this is a machine that isn't for them, may, maybe they are doing volume runs of components but maybe they're not engaged in the industries you talk about and maybe the parts are maybe quite simple and straightforward. Is this something they're going to turn off or is this something that actually they should still consider? And if so, why? Well, it's, it's certainly a, a, a machine that we've built for the mainstream market. You know, some of our machines are very niche for specific products. This is a machine for everybody. So the market came to us and they said, OK, if you want to know uh, feedback, if you like, how can you improve, make it more compact? So this machine's a smaller footprint, make it faster. It's a faster machine. It's an 80 metre feed all rapid uh, machine, choice of spindles, choice of, 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 of tool holder. Uh, and what about carousels. price? Because that would have to be key as well. They're going to well, go. That, well, that was, the, that, 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 was the main, that was the main headline on the bottom. It's got to be a, an, an affordable price. So this is really geared to the subcontract market as well as the OEMs. OK, this spindle technology, something on here, you offer various spindles, HSK 63, HSK 100, 30,000 RPM, all of those things. But one of the things that I I'm interested in is that is the quill feature on here as well because it's quite you as we perfect timing as we see here quite unique for a machine of this size what is it what does it do and why have you put it on here it is well the the, the quill is uh, sometimes called a traversing spindle if you like it's an extendable spindle so normally if you want to reach inside a inside a job you'll have very long cutting tools so you've got uh, you've got less rigidity you've got very expensive tools you've got chatter vibration etc so by having a very stiff quill that goes deep inside the job, you can have very short tools and you're getting very high performance productivity, as I mentioned earlier. It's unusual to see a quill on a machine of this size. Usually you see them on larger boring mill type machines. There's a big advantage on, on, on here. And you do a DBF head as well. And the DBF is also available on here. So the DBF has a U axis, so the spindle will actually move with a cross axis. So if you have a, a deep bore with multiple diameters, as an example, with a single tip, you can machine all those features in a single operation. Big advantage for oil and gas and transport type type components. And um, the options on the machine when it comes to automation, because you know companies will look at that. It's part of every everybody's kind of thought process these days. Systems on here. Always as a, as a as a, a standard machine, it has two pallets, so it's automated anyway. Most of our 
opportunities these days involve some kind of automation, whether that's a robot system, whether that's a pallet system, whether that's multiple machines on a system, connectivity between the machines to the system, traceability to the individual components, that's what everybody's looking for today. It's where you're at, keeping uh, the productivity going, which is really important. Final point, Lee, the interface on this machine, the control system, everybody wants something that's easy, everybody wants something that, that kind of navigates them and guides them. Is this as well part of your offering? It is, and typically these machines are built with either a FANUC or a Siemens control, the latest controls that they offer today, full connectivity. There's a huge amount of data that you can take from the machine and from the process these days that gives you this, this, this high level of traceability. And it's all about Industry 4. Everybody talks about Industry 4. This machine is full of Industry 4 gadgets. Um, and it's not just the machine that's full of gadgets. Yourselves, in terms of presentations and promotions, if you want to find out more about this machine, we're going to put a QR code on the screen, which you can actually scan and you'll be able to see what you're seeing here and also more detail about not just the H95, but other products as well from the Starrett Group. Thank you very much, Lee. Thank you.